You know only a select few can come out here and catch fish with me. You know that, right? Yes, sir. You are definitely one of the select few to do many things. You're making history right before my eyes, and I love that for you. Hey, I appreciate you, coach. I know you missed it. Miss what? You know what I'm talking about. Hey. Yeah, I know. It's time for you to come back home. It's been calling your name, and you've been denying it. It's time to come on back to where your heart wants you to be. But how? I just signed a two-year deal worth a lot of money. I'm not sure they're going to let me just walk away. Well, I've been talking to your family, and there's definitely a way to do it. If Michael Jordan can walk away after winning three in a row, I'm sure you can walk away after one. You right. But that's only if you want to. And just know you have your family and my support no matter what you decide. I would ask you guys what you think about the situation, but you clicking on this video, I'm assuming you already know what I decided. I'm also going to decide to skip all the drama of me retiring from the NBA after one season and get straight to what we're all here for. Needless to say, I got straight to work. As you know, the diet and exercise required for each sport is different, and I had to get ready for the combine. Coach Prime wanted me to slide to pro day, and y'all know the media coverage was insane. First stop was the draft combine where I linked up with longtime family friend Ocho, who had been training me for a while, which is why I run the routes the way I do. So huge shout out to him. Then I slid back to Colorado for the pro day and here are my results. Numbers don't lie, ladies and gentlemen. Not only was I the fastest tight end out there, I was the highest jumper as well. And my strength wasn't too shabby. 26 and 27 reps, I'm not weak by any means. Still with all that, I was projected to go second or third round and I wasn't upset shocked but not upset i knew whatever team took a chance on me they would reap the benefits immediately because i was hungry and eager to get back out on the field draft night couldn't come quick enough and there's no need for theatrics at this point but to everyone's surprise i was drafted first round third overall to the washington commanders you can't say you know a two-sport athlete drafted in the first round top three picks in both respected sports go ahead and crown me my guy and none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Coach Sanders who pulled up like he said he would. I'm forever grateful to that man of God right there. His faith in me brought me to this point, got me to break records and create history, and that was the goal all along. Respect to Coach Sanders, but one thing I can do without is all the media and all the time I had to spend answering questions, taking pictures, like this was a big deal. I'm not sure if y'all knew that or not, but it was finally time to talk about something I had a little bit more interest in, and that was money. The numbers look great, 15.9 million for four years sounded so good that's roughly four mil a year and the cherry on top was the crazy 24.8 million dollar signing bonus and that money is guaranteed not to mention i've been plugged in with nike since my basketball contract and i got a new one specifically for football so life is beyond great right now but enough yapping, let's get into the season opener against the Giants. They already have seven on the board, and we trying to match that. But look at the blocks as we pick up a huge gain on the ground. Play right after that, I'm going for a quick slant, catching my first pass for a gain of six yards, and I'm feeling good. Third and eight, we need to keep the chains moving, and the middle of the field opens up for me, and I'm catching this one getting smacked by like three dudes, and I'm feeling the pain as I'm slow to get up after that one. But we got to keep it pushing, and from the three-yard line, Rodriguez is going to walk into the end zone, giving us our first tutty of the season back on the field third and 10 this rain got a little chill to it and i'm not liking this but i go 10 deep slanting across the field and i'm catching this one safely not trying to get popped no more third and two and i gotta stop being a little bitch so i'm going out for the dump down and i actually get the ball running full speed ahead making one guy miss to get the first and i'm out of bounds after that second and 10 from the 31 and we really got some weapons here in washington adding me was the cherry on top as my guy terry comes down with the ball falling into the end zone and we're tying this game up yet again Again. Defense gets a stop, and I'm looking to get my first tutty of the season out of the way. So from the 35-yard line, I'm just running my regular route, and I find my way open, and I dive right into the end zone for my first score of my professional football career, and this feeling is like none other. Like, scoring in basketball is common to me. I've been doing that all my life, but this, this is something different, and the good vibes don't stop there. Look at the lead blocks. I'm knocking grown men off their feet, making a way for my running back to pick up some big yards. But on second and one, I'm putting the league on notice. QB sending me 
on a go route and I'm gone. Zooming off the line, my speed is unmatched. Wide open for another tutty, and that's two on my debut in the NFL. Celebrating with my guys in the end zone, and we own one. And that's the end of the game. And that's the end of that. And that's the end of that game. My debut was definitely one to remember as I got an early call off the field. I finished with six receptions for 114 yards. Moving further ahead in the season, we got Philly this evening, and we know Philly can score the ball. I'm starting getting my first catch for a big game. We're looking to attack quickly and often from the 19-yard line. QB got two great options on my side of the field, and he chooses Dotson, getting us down to the 9-yard line. Immediately after that, it's an easy pitch and catch to Terry, who's in the end zone yet again. As you can see, we've been sticking to the game plan, as you can tell by the scoreboard, but I'm about to take it to a whole nother level as I'm coming off the line. Terrible coverage from the defense, and it's a race, and you know how this ends every time on any level. I'm to the crib with this one. 94-yard touchdown, and I'm making the team look good with this one. You know I had to hit the back flip in the end zone. Showing these birds, I'm really him. Smooth and easy win. It was a dominant one. This was one of those games in the middle of the season that let me know we were on to something special out here in Washington. I finished with only three receptions, but they were for 120 yards. This next game was against Dallas and a little back information about this one. We already took an L to them earlier in the season and it was so embarrassing, bro. So the team had made up in our mind that this wasn't going to go the same. Not at home. And let me tell y'all, this one was a shootout. It's third and 10. Dallas is already Already on the board I'm not seeing any space and I'm being a natural born playmaker finding open space so my QB can make a throw first and a lot more down at the 32 from the seven yard line I want the ball QB told me to go up and get one and you know I can jump out the stadium Goofy tried to meet me there, but I'm too high, and he can't do nothing but watch as I come down with it in a tutty, matching Dallas's opening drive. Trust me, chat, this is going to be a wild one. Fourth and two from the 17. Peep the blocking skills. I'm really like that. Off the edge, I'm jamming my assignment up, which leaves plenty of room for Robinson to walk into the end zone, and now Dallas got to match us as we go up a score. And I spoke too soon because Dallas definitely matched, and now we need to get back up. Second and eight. I thought I had a lot of empty space in the middle of the field. I look up, catch the ball. Next thing you know, I'm on my back. Welcome to the NFL moment, but y'all know me. I'm popping right back up, even though that shit hurt. From the five-yard line, these goofies running a whack-ass zone, and I sneak by for the easy tutty. And as I told y'all, this was going to be one of those games. But, bruh, it's 21-21, to 21 and we not even at half. But we are trying to score before we go into the locker room. And with 24 seconds left in the game, I'm running the perfect route, getting us the first, and coach calls the last time out. QB wants me to go get one and tells me to adjust at the line because it was coming in hot i take off they know i'm getting it and somehow over two defenders i come down with the ball and it's a last second tutty what a freaking throw from the qb who put the ball on the money what a game dog i couldn't do nothing but dance on that one but the madness doesn't stop there back on the field after half i feel like a new man the zone that dallas is running is super ass safety doesn't know who to pick up and goofy chooses wrong i'm catching a ball at midfield and sprint the rest of the way paying homage to coach prime as i score another one and just to get some get back we want another one third and six from the 20 i'm open on that same route again and i got the crowd rocking humiliating this dallas team but dallas would find themselves back in this game and we don't want a close one on third and six i run the perfect route getting the first and some before stepping out of bounds when coach calls me for the lead block you know i'm trying to lay folks out and you see what i'm capable of robinson just following me all the way down to the one yard line third and goal robinson couldn't punch it in so we run a simple route that dallas just can't keep up with and we back on the boards no sportsmanship we want this win in the most disrespectful way possible. And I do believe we accomplished that today. Major home game win against Dallas, who just happened to be the number one team in our division. I finished with a staggering 12 receptions for 266 yards. And big games like that is what we would find ourselves doing more than not the rest of the season. With Dallas being the number one team in our division, we would proceed to beat them again for the division championship. And as far as season awards go, I would win NFC Rookie Offensive Player of the Year, which was huge. Now my QB won MVP, and you know he thanked me over and over again for that award. Because alone, he threw to me for 1,185 yards for 14 touchdowns. And now it's playoff season. The most wonderful time of the year. 
Let's get into this NFC Championship game against Big Dogs out of San Fran. And this defense was going to be a tough one to beat. We want to strike fast and have no empty possessions. And we worked our way down to the 47-yard line. And on second and nine, I turned my speed on, going right at the defense, finding my gap, and it's off to the races. And you know the results. They can't hold a candle to me. Y'all seen the numbers. I ran a 4-3 twice, officially. It's on the records. Who else doing it like me? I honestly believe that that play really got San Fran off their game because we not checking back in until the bottom of the fourth and the score is 10 to 17 for now. We really only pushing the issue now because the score was too close. Shout out to my guy Terry putting his stamp on his game. But again, I run my mouth too soon and San Fran trying to make this a game. On third and 10, it's only a one score lead for us. I'm turning on the reserves. QB throws up a prayer because he got smacked. But I go get it because it's a dud. But it leaves me open and it's a miracle touchdown play to put some space in between us and we're walking off the field as NFC champs headed to the Super Bowl. My three receptions for 137 yards really made more of a difference than it looks on paper. And if you told me I would be here Super Bowl Sunday against one of the best teams to ever do it, damn near unbeatable when it comes to the Super Bowl games, Kansas City Chiefs, I wouldn't believe you. But here we are. It's time to write our name down in American football history and even bigger for me. If I can win this game tonight, that would be historical. I shouldn't have to say it, but Kansas starts off with a quick touchdown to get the game started. And it's going to be a long night for our defense, but we're looking to give them some rest as I come up with a sliding catch to get a first down. We're going to need all hands on deck for this one. Every play matters and the QB is in the backfield making a proper read, sending me on an out route. Wide open, big yards taking us down to the 29 yard line. Play right after that, QB is throwing a quick win to Terry who was hoping to get into the end zone, but he's brought down quickly at the three. And from the three, Big blocks for me and the squad as Robinson dives into the end zone, knocking a player over. Intentions are high after that, but it was funny as hell at the moment. I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't there, but defense gets a stop, and we got the ball on the 32-yard line. Second down, and I'm telling my guys in the huddle, I'm ready to test this defense. Just throw me one, and I'm going to get it. He trusted me because when that ball came in the air, I came down with it, and it all happened so quickly because the defense was not ready, and that's my first touchdown in the Super Bowl, and it felt way too good. Almost better than winning my NBA title. Almost. Now, maybe scoring that quickly wasn't the best idea because the defense folded quickly and we're back before half, but I'm in my zone calling for any and every pass and I'm coming down with it every time. First and 10 from the 49, I'm telling my guy, throw that bit up, coming off that line at the speed of light. Safeties don't matter. I'm catching another pass for major yards and we're looking to score before half. Third and six, time is winding down. I'm making the conscious decision to get open no matter what. That plan actually works out, getting us down to the three. Coach calls a timeout. And on second down, Dotson is the man of the hour as he breaks away for the quick pitch and catch for the tutty. Now it's time to head into that locker room to see how we could build on that first half. Now it's fourth quarter and we have an uncomfortable three-point lead. I'm going out for a screenplay that we don't run too often, but it's enough to get a first down and keep this ball away from Kansas City. And that's all we're trying to do is run that clock out and keep the ball away from Kansas City. But if we have to score, we will as we get into the red zone, which leads us to third and four from the nine yard line. And the play just worked too well. And I'm back in the end zone for my second touchdown of the game and the nail in the coffin for the Kansas City Chiefs. And when I say we did it, chat, we did it. Somehow, some way, the Washington Commanders have won their first Super Bowl under this name, and I'm going down in history books forever as the first two sport athlete to win a national championship in football and basketball while in college and an NBA title and a Super Bowl. I guess this is what being a James is all about, huh? And speaking of being a James, you know my story doesn't end here because the problem with being a two sport athlete in these two sports specifically is I really can't play them at the same time. I also can't continue to retire and unretire from either of these sports to play the other. It's a tough decision to make. Either way, if you wanna see my journey continue, be sure to go and subscribe to YG's other channel, Back to the Basics, to see me and my family stories continue. Either way, I made history. I'm going down as the greatest to do it. Thanks for watching my story. give two of them 10 day contracts to see how they could change the culture here along with me. It was a tough sales pitch, but we got it done. Not only that, somehow Paul George was added to the team and this team was looking stronger than ever. So with this new team, new everything, we got our first real